Hello everyone, this is Jeb Hanwager from goldstocktrades.com and today is Monday, April 23rd, 2012 and I wanted to update my readers on the markets that we're following. Uh, we've recently seen since the October low um, a divergence between the equity market, the S&P 500, and the gold miners, the gold bu bugs index, or the HUI. The S&P is up 20%, and the HUI is down 15%. Uh, we have also seen a record divergence between the HUI and the underlying metal price of gold, an underperformance, a record underperformance. And this is call, um, calling for many people to say that the gold miners are not the great best place to be, that maybe the ETFs are better, that physical bullion is better, uh, and the gold miners are reaching record oversold levels, trading at discounts uh, to their net asset values at, at extremely oversold bargain basement levels. And people are th saying that the gold miners are not the place to be. We disagree. Uh, we see the gold miners as still being a very powerful place to be. And right now, in the short term, it may look um, at, at, to, the, to the marketplace that the gold miners are out of favor. But we are, con are contrarians, and we see this as a great opportunity. And that the gold miners, really over the long term, are actually the best place to be. If you take a look since the October 21st, 2008 low, and we saw the Lehman collapse and, and um, the, the bank failures, the U.S. bank failures, uh, since gold and the gold miners bottomed there, the gold miners significantly outperformed uh, gold and are still higher than even gold uh, at this point on a percentage gain despite uh, significantly underperforming gold during this correction. And although we've seen a, a rally in the S&P 500 uh, since the 2008 lows, uh, what, and we've seen and, and we're, we've, we're seeing, we've seen a rally in the S&P 500, we've seen a correction uh, in the gold miners and gold uh, for the first time since 2008. And this is what we th we believe is a buying opportunity in the long term tr trend uh, in precious metals. Uh, we see a significant uh, divergence and outperformance over the long term in precious metals and hard assets. And this correction, which is the first really major correction we've had in gold and the gold miners since 2008, is really an actual buying opportunity. We're seeing the debt levels in Europe reach record heights. We're seeing a race to devalue currencies. We're seeing attempts by central banks uh, to stimulate the economy. And we're seeing some um, uh, overt um, reactions to trying to, um, to correct the precious metals move and at the same time prop up the equity market. So right now, the miners seem like it's a very interesting um, opportunity as it's testing uh, close to two-year lows. And if you take a look at the long term, whoever has said that the gold miners are not, ha are not the place to be, take a look at this chart from 2000, uh, where we saw the equity markets uh, unwind and the housing, uh, we saw a move into to the housing market. We also saw a move into the gold miners. And if you take a look at the gold miners versus gold since and, and versus equities and versus the dollar, you will see that the the gold miners have been actually the place to be. Uh, and although we've seen very powerful corrective moves in the gold miners, each time it's been followed up by explosive rallies to the upside. Uh, and still over the long term, uh, since we've had this the credit uh, the um, the 2000 technology cr uh, crash in the market, uh, we've seen a, a great um, a move into the gold miners, and this was due to uh, record low interest rates uh, and moves from the central banks to to uh, to stimulate the economy through the monetization of debt. So the gold miners are still, even despite the significant correction, are still over the long term and a trend higher and the place to be. Thank you and have a great day.